Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Meditations with Bo. Today is a little windy at the lake, so if you hear some background noise, some crackling, it is the wind. And I do have a mic with a little fuzzy ball on it, so it shouldn't be too bad, but just bear with me this morning. So if you're new to meditation, uh, perfect. What we're going to be focusing on today is breathing through our belly or our diaphragm. And the way you breathe through your belly is by on the inhale, you push your belly out. And on the exhale, you bring your belly in. So it looks like that. And when you're breathing with meditation, if you prolong your exhales, like let's say you inhale for four seconds, and you exhale for six seconds, that will give you more of a calming property. And if you breathe quickly, like a one second in out, like this, that actually oxygenates your blood and gives you more energy. So for this meditation, we're gonna focus on the calming practices because we're gonna be doing some visualization and relaxing. So I invite you to really prolong those exhales and over time during this practice, you will get better and better at it and your exhales will get longer and longer and you will become more calm over time. So let's go ahead and get into a seated position with your legs crossed and your hands either on your knees or over your knees, whatever feels comfortable. And I also invite you, if you haven't already, to put out a journal with an empty page and a pen next to it, or to simply have the notes in your phone readily available for after this meditation, if you might have any creative thoughts or ideas or progressions you might have had during this meditation, it's beautiful to be able to write them down so you can track your progress and integrate them into your life. So either hands on your knees or hands over your knees, whatever feels more comfortable. And go ahead and sway back and forth, up and down until you get into a comfortable position. And once you felt that nice and comfortable position, making sure your back is nice and straight. Let's go ahead and do three breaths together. You can keep your eyes open just so you can watch me go through it and see my belly rise and fall. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do it through our mouth. And as we do it through our mouth, make kind of a small O. So it gives you some resistance. It makes it easier to breathe in and out slowly if you have more resistance on your mouth or your nose. So let's go, and go ahead and take three breaths together. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Good, inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Notice my rib cage is not, is not expanding. My chest is not expanding, it's just my belly. All right, one more. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Great job. And you should feel more relaxed, more calm, more grounded. And during our meditation practice, we're not gonna go as hard with the inhales and exhales. We were just overemphasizing them so we know the movement and we can integrate it into our practice. Throughout our practice, I invite you to breathe in and out throughout your nose. If your nose is somehow blocked, you can breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. But I'd recommend breathing in and out through your nose. So when you're ready, you go ahead and close down your eyes. Really feel into your body. Connect with your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose. Making a nice, long, slow and controlled inhales. A smooth transition to your exhales. And nice, slow and controlled exhales. A beautiful exchange.
don't need to focus too hard on it. It will come. And it'll start to feel very natural for you. Keeping in mind there's no right or wrong way to do this. Really listen to your body. Settle in, start to recognize all the sounds around you. Try to visualize in your head what each of them are. Hear one sound, picture what it is, then move on to the next thing. you've identified all of the sounds start to feel into the outside of your body feel the hairs on your skin if you feel the wind from your fan or the air conditioning or the wind from being outside notice how your hairs are flowing each moving individually, but all in unison together. Now take the time to recognize any soreness you might have in your back, in your feet, in your neck, in your arms, wherever it might be. Just recognize it for what it is. Give attention to it. Do not recognize it as good or bad. And simply move on. Making sure you're maintaining your belly breaths, your belly rising on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. Recognizing any new sounds that might come in as well. Beautiful. Now I invite you to take this time to visualize who you are as a partner. If you are in a relationship, think about how you are in your relationship, what things or emotions you bring to the table for your relationship. And if you're single, think about the things you bring to the table and are inviting in to your future partner. What are three qualities that you have that you know your partner loves about you or your future partner would love about you. And if it's more than three, just keep them coming. Really just have a stream of consciousness on all the things, the beautiful things you bring to the table.
And if you're finding trouble with this exercise, think about the things that other people and other relationships, the things, things that they have told you in your past relationships. Any compliments they had for you. Really tune in to those right now. Even if they were a long time ago, excavate them and remember them. Many times we remember the negative comments we might have received, but I invite you right now to remember the positive ones, the ones that really made you smile. Beautiful. Now I invite you to think about three traits that are within your partner, your current partner, or the partner that you want to attract in your life. What are three biggest qualities that you are looking for or that you have within your partner? And if you have more, that's beautiful. And if you're struggling a little bit, think about the past relationships you might have had and what qualities that you loved about your past relationships, what qualities they had that you really liked. Some of them might be similar to yours. Some of them might be opposing. Beautiful. When you have at least three in your mind, remember them. Hold on to them. They are important to you. And sometimes we don't take enough time to realize what's important to us, what we can bring to the table. So slowly, Come back into your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your feet. Wiggle your hands, wiggle your fingernails. <laughs> wiggle your fingers. Slowly, open your eyes to a new world as if everything is new. Beautiful job, guys. It might've been difficult for many people because we rarely look at the things that we bring to the table or we're good at. And often we look at things that aren't so good. But this practice really helps out to highlight the things that we're good at because we should do it more often. All right, so if you have a journal or a page open, I invite you to write down those three things that you bring to the table or more and three things that you're looking for in a partner or that you might already have within your partner. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste, my friends.